hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am the nurse flipper I am a full-time reseller part-time nurse and I have my channel to help you learn things that are selling right now to help you increase your income and increase your sales so we have over a thousand dollars going out again on a Wednesday so I'm going to show you what's going out I'm also going to show you what's going out on Friday a lot of high price profit items and most of those are actually going out on other platforms so let's get started all right so ebay is 808 dollars going out on a wednesday beautiful beautiful sales and then we also have about 300 going out on the other platform so let's go ahead and take a look at ebay first and then we'll move on the other platforms and then depending on the length of the video i'll probably add some sales from friday as well so first up is this floral ceramic napkin holder it does say it was made in spain i paid a dollar for this at the thrift store i did not notice unfortunately it is chipped so i only got seven dollars for this plus the buyer paid ten in shipping it will go over a pound so this is going to be about a five dollar profit next is this cute little turkey trinket box so it's really cute with jewels i did pay five dollars for this at the flea market it opens up and has corn and flowers and some pretty cool enamel so i love picking up little trinket boxes and of course with thanksgiving coming this is a great little gift and it is marked dz i wasn't able to find any comps on that so this little turkey sold for 29 dollars 39 cents plus 10 and shipping so this little guy is going to be about a 22 dollar profit now i do want to say real quick because i had a couple of comments on my what sold on monday and let you know the total i give you is the total the buyers have paid that means the item and the shipping so when i am telling you i'm telling you my profit after i pay for shipping and the cost of the item and the fees so the total sounds a lot bigger than when we get to the item costs and sales numbers because i am also including shipping because that's what ebay does in their total next is this little Anna Lee drummer boy so I got him in a lot I paid five dollars for him he is still new with the tags and he sold for twelve dollars so he is going to be about a five dollar profit the sun is coming in the window do you see it on my hair it's a little bit hot in here from that sun next is this really nice these are amazing and I'm really surprised they haven't sold better yet these are denim and co and I have a bunch of these they're like this really soft Chanel they're like super super comfortable and I'm only doing nine dollars and 74 cents plus shipping so I'm actually taking a little bit of a loss because it'll probably go in a padded flat rate for nine dollars but I am glad to see it go so if you're looking for a nice sweater denim and co on my store I'm like paying them to take it but it's okay I would rather them be gone next is an incredible sale so this was in my private pick this was in the jewelry it does say limo here on the box but here's your ring and i'm not sure if i can get it to focus for you guys i'm gonna try um this ring is marked Belaus there and it also is marked 18 karat so this little ring since i got in a buyout i'm actually only about five dollars into it and it sold for three hundred and twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents this is almost a three hundred dollar profit there were several other gold pieces as well i have already sold off some jewelry lots from there and i found some sterling silver that was uh, personalized with names and birthdays and i did bring that back to miss kathy that is not something i want to keep but this ring is an absolutely amazing, amazing profit. I still am not in the profit on that lot. I did pay her 700 and then I think I paid her 60 the second time I went, but we have not listed a ton of stuff from her lot. So that was an amazing profit. That is the bulk of what is going out today. And that was a wonderful, wonderful sale. And then I'm not going to show you them. They're vents. They're 12 by eight inch vents. Somebody asked before if they are adjustable. They are not 
adjustable. So I have to watch this on my face there. Can't get too far back. Um, so somebody bought two for $10 and they paid 15 in shipping. And then somebody else bought five and they paid 15 in shipping. And then next is going to be a scarf. So this scarf is a cashmere scarf. I bought this in a lot. Here is your tag there. It is not branded. It just has 100% cashmere. It's got the little fringes. It is black. I paid less than a dollar. This one sold for $14.86 plus the buyer paid $6.85 in shipping. So with a lot of these things, I want to point out that they were lot purchases. So if you can buy things in bulk and get it cheap, that is where you can make quite a bit of money because you end up like a dollar or two in per item and then you only have to sell a few to pay for a whole big box of items which is really nice next is this jewelry box and i do want to point out this jewelry box is actually cracked and i did make sure to photograph that and it is cracked all the way through so this is coronel mexico some of the bigger boxes of these go for hundreds of dollars this one sold overnight for $69.99. Paid $40 for this along with four very, very nice high-end brooches. And this paid for the whole lot. This was in my big jewelry lot I bought last. So this individually, I'm probably about 10 in and it will be over a $50 profit. Keep an eye out for jewelry boxes. And I wanna point out too, and I did photograph it. This was originally $6. That doesn't matter this is a vintage item it's old and it's worth a lot more now and i don't try and take those prices off because some people might want to see oh it was six dollars way back when it was purchased so this was a really fast sale and a really great profit and then another thing a lot of people pass up this is a sad clown face but <laughs> trying to imagine um this guy I only paid $3 for. He sold for $41.99 plus the buyer paid $8.80 in shipping. This guy's going to be over a $35 profit. And he's not going to break. You know, there's no glass. He's just like a um, latch hook kit almost. And he's a really good profit. And then I think this buyer got mad at me, but it is what it is, you know. So they bought this little salt and pepper shaker for me for $10 plus shipping. I paid a dollar for these, so I'll make about an $8 profit. It had been four days since they bought it, and they did message me and say, hey, I'm bidding on some auctions, but they're not my auctions, you know. So why are you waiting four days to pay me? So they got upset with me. They paid. I'm glad they paid but I don't really get the point of waiting to pay all the sellers at once. If you guys know a reason, let me know. Maybe I need to apologize to the buyer, but I was worried eBay was gonna automatically cancel that order and they were gonna lose their item. Next, and this is going out late. It's going out late because I couldn't find it. So let me show you the tag because you really need to know this. This is Fairy Bow, this is a wool blanket. You can see it's like red and black plaid, um, or plaid, <laughs> sorry. Um, this one I paid at five dollars for it sold for 25 so it's about a 17 dollar profit now I couldn't find this blanket it was not marked so to those of you who are listing your death pile or listing it all make sure that you mark where your items are where I eventually found that luckily I went to go do laundry this morning it was thrown on the floor of my laundry room because I noticed it needed to be washed after I had listed it I never washed it. I never marked where it was, but luckily I found it. And that is going to be about a $17 profit. And then going out to Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, thank you so much for being understanding. Miss Nancy is getting these sweaters. She's getting a blue, a red, and a purple. She ordered black, but eBay messed up the quantities on my multi-quantity listing so it's like they weren't taking out certain sizes once they were sold out they left them there so it allowed her to purchase the black even though i didn't have it and she was really understanding and said i could send those other colors so miss nancy paid 11.76 for those plus she paid 20 in shipping they're obviously not going to be 20 in shipping so i am going to discount her and send her a refund for the difference and then that is it for eBay, but we have some big sales going out over on the other platforms. So let me show you. All right, first up over on Poshmark, 
is this Sabin 22 karat gold. These do have the cording couple and I am going to clean these. They, they were there for a little while, so they're kind of dusty. Um, they are marked if you were to find them in the thrift. I paid less than a dollar for these. I bought the whole lot and it came with a ton of stuff. These two sold for $22 on Poshmark. Again, if you're a Poshmark seller only putting clothes there, think about putting hard goods and home items on Poshmark. They do sell. Oh, I forgot an eBay item. This little necklace here, which is not branded. This little necklace, I am less than a dollar in in my jewelry lot, and this one sold for $8.92. So this is about a $6 profit. Some really heavy items. This is a DVD player. This one is DVD R75. I looked the model up from it. It's hard to show you. It's big. It's a Philips brand. I paid $7.99 for that, the thrift. It sold for $60 over on Poshmark. So that is about a $40 profit on that DVD player. Sold on Poshmark. Next, these two little teacups sold over on Facebook. These are not marked, but I bought them in a set that was marked. It was Universal Pottery Ballerina. So those are going to be about a $5 profit. It's really, really heavy. It's heavy. This is a Coleman hot water heater. Um, super heavy. So that is like a camping hot water heater. Has propane, it comes with a shower head. That sold over on Facebook Marketplace for $160. I paid $50 for it. It is almost a $100 profit. Took about two months to sell. I got it at the thrift store. It was marked $100, but it was 50% off day. So I only paid $50. That's an amazing profit. So if you guys are not cross-posting to at least one other platform, if you are comfortable on eBay, I recommend cross-posting. I do use List Perfectly, which copies your photos and your title it's very very easy they have plans from 30 dollars a month i do have a code the nurse flipper it's all one word no spaces you get 30 percent off your first month and it will pay for itself in the first week i can pretty much guarantee you if you are cross posting enough i had over 400 dollars in sales just today I do have the like highest plan, which is $69.99 because it copies everything like your shipping, the brand, the title, it, it copies everything. Um, the higher the plan, the more it copies over. So the lower one just copies over like your pictures and your title and you might have to add in your description and the brand. But $400 in sales in one day on other platforms, it pays for itself. So think about using it. You can use my code to get the discount and i am really happy to have all these other platforms i would like to take just a moment to say i really appreciate you watching me it really does mean a lot take a second hit that thumbs up leave me a comment below to let me know what you think and definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed i really do appreciate you watching so let's get back to the video and then this now and then dvd sold over on facebook for five dollars it's going to be about a three dollar profit and this facebook a face this facebook a new <laughs> this avon a new i got for two dollars at a garage sale a few weeks ago and this one actually sold for eleven dollars plus shipping so i will make about a seven dollar profit that is all that we have going out today so let's take a look at what's going out on friday i don't know yet it's in the future but you're gonna see in a second all right it is friday and we have over 550 dollars going out on ebay on a friday pretty decent and we have over 100 dollars going out on poshmark and we also have Quite a few facebook marketplace sales no mercari so last time it was no poshmark this time it's no mercari just goes to show diversifying your platforms really is important so i also at the end of this video am going to put in some thanks to people who have sent me a coffee if you are not familiar with buy me a coffee it is a way to tip your content creators without a bunch of fees coming out i will drop my buy me a coffee link down in the comments and I will add those buy me a coffee thanks at the end. I know a lot of you don't want to watch them but to those of you that send them I really do want to give you a personal thank you. All right so today on eBay first up is this little 
owl brooch so it's just a little unbranded brooch this one i paid less than a dollar and it sold for nine dollars plus the buyer paid five and shipping i put them in these little jewelry boxes i do have them linked in my amazon store and then i just put them in a six by nine padded poly so pretty easy to to list and ship so i love buying lots of animal jewelry because it's pretty easy to keyword because you have people who collect certain different animal things and they seem to sell pretty good next is this beautiful rosary this one is glass beads you can see there they are translucent they are really really pretty beads this one i paid about a dollar for and it sold for 18 dollars and 19 cents plus the buyer paid five in shipping that's another one i throw into that bigger jewelry box put it into a padded envelope and off it goes next is this jj brooch so this is a zebra i paid five dollars for this at the antique mall and this one sold for $29.99 plus the buyer paid five in shipping and this sold in less than a month so this is going to be about a $22 profit after fees and then we sold the lost world dvd for $5.59 plus the buyer paid $3.82 in media mail shipping this will be about a four dollar profit but my niece has been listing for me i paid her a dollar to list it so it'll be about a three dollar profit next is this beautiful oil lamp so this one is signed this one is eve you can see there england is her name and this one i paid about five dollars for in an online auction lot and it sold for 48 dollars plus the buyer paid nine and shipping this one is going to be about a 40 dollar profit and then you guys know i love my kachinas this is another pretty much solid wood minus the feathers in his hand he is not signed guys not signed and i paid ten dollars for him he sold for 69.99 plus the buyer paid 12 and shipping making him about a 55 dollar profit and then this is just a little felt philosophy bag this was in a lot of makeup i got sold for three dollars plus the buyer paid five in shipping i don't pay anything so we'll make a couple bucks off it it'll be really easy to throw into a poly bag and ship though and then this is heavy i have seen me pick this up in a thrift video this is an all clad pressure cooker i will tell you these inserts can sell for 50 to 60 dollars by themselves without the rest of this so let's say you pick that up at the thrift store you didn't test it you got it home it didn't work you could still sell that insert for over 50 dollars. so i accepted a best offer of 60 dollars on this and i accepted it because when i cleaned it water got behind the led screen and it looks bad but I put that in my description i took a picture i showed it turned on and it still sold for 60 dollars. now i could have just sold the insert for 60 throughout the machine but i decided to do it all i did pay 25 dollars for that at the thrift store so after fees it's going to be about a 25 dollar profit next is this russell wright subinville little cup this one only sold for three dollars and 61 cents it is unmarked so the way i know that this is russell wright un marked is because it was in a whole set of russell wright dishes there were two or three that weren't marked probably just a production thing so the other ones have sold for higher but i was glad to get three dollars for this i am only pennies and this will be about another two dollar profit and then i saw this brochure i'm gonna prop it up here because i left it inside of the house this is po pico state historical division of parks i am less than a dollar in it sold for nine dollars plus the buyer paid shipping so this will be about a seven dollar profit next are these vhs's these are professional master there's your model number i got these at a yard sale for five dollars i actually got two cases for five each the first case sold really fast this one has taken like six or eight months but it sold for 27.50 plus the buyer paid 20 and shipping this is a golf club this one is a tailor-made mid-rescue 22 which is exactly what i put in 
I only paid a couple dollars for this in the online auction lot. Sold for $33. Plus the buyer paid nine in shipping. So this one's about a $28 profit. And these are not really valuable. So I lotted, whoops, I lotted them up. They're not breakable, they're pewter. These are the Americana pewter collection. I lotted four boxes up because I didn't want to sell them individually for like three to five bucks. The lot of four sold for a best offer of $17.49, plus the buyer paid $8.50 in shipping. I'm going to pop these into a padded flat rate envelope, and I got those in a buyout from Miss Kathy, only a couple dollars in, so they'll be about a $14 profit. Next is this beautiful shell necklace. It is an abalone shell. It's got the cool little shells there on the end to hook it to and i'm less than a dollar in this one sold for eleven dollars and fifty cents plus the buyer paid six in shipping this again will go into one of my jewelry boxes and then into a padded flat rate envelope not padded flat rate envelope a six by nine not going to ship that priority because it only sold for eleven dollars and then i've heard some of my friends on youtube talking about retrospect on ebay buying cameras i didn't expect them to buy this one this is so raggedy like look at the cracked leather it was obviously left out in the sun this is an old polaroid it sold to retrospect for 20 dollars plus they paid 14 in shipping so i will put this in a box and bubble wrap it good i did sell it for parts or repair sold really fast i am probably 50 cents in so it's about an 18 dollars profit on a raggedy camera so don't don't discount some of those old cameras because people might need parts from them to fix and repair other ones. All right, well, let's go over to Poshmark. First up is an amazing sale. These are the North Face and they are new with tags that says $99. I got these at a garage sale for $10. They sold for $74 over on Poshmark, making them about a $55 profit. And then I sold this hat, Okeechobee, speckled perch capital of the world. I'm less than a dollar in. It sold on Poshmark for 25 bucks. So this is about a $20 profit and it sold in less than a month. And a bear, this bear here, Lauren Bear Call. She sold for $17 over on Poshmark. What I love about Poshmark is you can use all the free priority boxes and the, the flat rate so she's gonna go into a number seven I'm gonna have to bend her a little she's a little heavy actually for a plush but on Poshmark the labels cover up to five pounds so she should be good to go and then Poshmark as well these Mark Fisher heels sold for $25 the funny thing is I have these on eBay for $14 so some stuff will sell higher on Poshmark I get asked all the time if I change my prices I do not but what has happened with those is I have lowered the price over on eBay and I have not messed with the price on Poshmark. I paid about $3, so those are going to be about a $17 profit. And then Patrick Swayze, Mr. Dirty Dancing himself, but this is Letters from a Killer. This one sold for $5 over on Facebook Marketplace. My media sells on Facebook Marketplace. And then I also sold my super ex-girlfriend over on Facebook Marketplace as well. And then one of the cookbooks my mom brought me that I didn't want sold for $6 on Facebook Marketplace. With everything I'm listing now, I'm really trying to be right at or below market to try and get my stuff to move faster. That is my goal. Get it in, get it out, make some money. And then these old three fishing lures sold for $10 on Facebook Marketplace. With these, Brad kind of tried to separate similar shape and size. I will tell you, we put those on auction at $9.99 and they didn't sell. So I, I figure if there's a really valuable one, somebody will find that and the bidding will go accordingly. But since they ended with no bids, I relisted them, buy it now for 10 and they sold on Facebook Marketplace in five minutes. And then another camera, I've had my niece listing these. This is a Kodak KB10. This one sold over on Facebook Marketplace for $20. Again, I am pennies in. I bought three totes of vintage camera stuff for under 50 bucks and it has hundreds of pieces this delf blue i believe i paid a couple dollars for this at the thrift store this one sold for 20 dollars over on facebook marketplace those are all the sales so i am going to go ahead and say some thanks to those of you who sent me coffees 
Barbara Perry bought me two coffees and said, thanks for all you do, Kat. I am so excited about the group on Facebook. Facebook group, I think we're up to 800 members now. If you have too much stuff you bought and you want some support with trying to list it, go over, check out Death Pile Destruction over on Facebook. That is a group myself, Dale Flippin' Fiasco, and Richard Ottnip Draw Flips started up. So come over and join us there. And then Shauna Van Dorn bought me a coffee and said, I've learned so much for you. Shauna, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. And I don't remember if I said thank you, Miss Barbara. <laughs> if I didn't, thank you so much. And then it says, someone bought you a coffee. Thank you so much. I love that you're buying yourself things with your coffee money. You deserve it. God bless. Thank you so much. It didn't have a name. It didn't have a name. Sometimes buy me a coffee can be a little bit finicky. And then Gary. Gary won my first mentorship I gave away on the channel. He said, thank you so much for your help. You're the best. He bought me three coffees. Gary, thanks. I really do appreciate you being there in the beginning with me. That was, I think, my thousand subscriber giveaway. So Gary, thanks so much for your continued support. And then Laura Harmon bought me a coffee and said, Hey Kat, thanks so much for sharing your vast knowledge. I especially like when you say what you picked up and why. I love watching your what sold videos. I learn the most from those. For those of you who are new, I built my channel on what sold videos. I'm trying to do daily videos just to give you guys a little bit more variety, but I did build my channel on what sold and now i'm adding in some of those thrifting and also my little tips videos so by the way your hair is awesome laura laura thank you so much i really do appreciate it and then darcy bought me three coffees and said thanks for being such a great teacher i've learned so much and have found and made some great sales from what i've learned p.s i still have boots with the fur stuck in my head so a few weeks ago i picked up apple bottom jeans at the thrift store and that song was stuck in my head. Boots with the fur. And she commented that. And it's funny because that's what was stuck in my head as well. And then Miss Naomi bought me eight coffees. <laughs> Naomi, thank you so much. That is so, so generous of you. And she said, you know, I think the world of you. Thank you for everything you do for the reseller community. You provide so much knowledge to us all. I love the videos and the Tuesday Night Lives have become a great routine. There has been so much stuff I have picked up and I have made some great money because you suggested it. I cannot thank you enough. Naomi, thank you so, so much. I really, really do appreciate you watching. I love the Tuesday Night Lives as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the live last night since we did another Friday Night Live. And if those go well, I will continue to do those as well. So you guys get me one-on-one. -on -one well, one on how many ever of you are in the chat, but without doing the panel and just a little more interactive with just me, myself. And then Pam Crafty Chick Vintage bought me two coffees and said, thank you so much for your videos. I love them and I cannot thank you enough for the new Facebook group. You're the bomb diggity. Keep up the great work, Pam. Pam, thanks so much. I'm so happy that you are enjoying the Facebook group and I appreciate you watching. And then Pam bought me three coffees and said, thank you, Kat. I have followed a lot of YouTubers over the years and you're the best. Pam, thanks so much. I am really honored that you said that and I really do appreciate it. And then Amy bought me two coffees and said, as always, great content, Kat, even when real life interludes. Thanks so much, Amy. I really do appreciate it. And then Barbara Perry bought me a coffee and said, thanks so much for what you do. Miss Barbara, you are so, so welcome. Thank you so much for the coffee and thanks for watching. And then Tannis Adam bought me three coffees and said, thanks for helping me with the Kachina doll. I really do appreciate all your videos and your help. Tannis, you're so welcome. I'm so happy to help you guys. Feel free to send me an email at thenurseflipper at yahoo.com or message me on Instagram. I am on my phone 90% of the time. So if you have a question and I have time and I'm able to help, I would be happy to. Someone bought me three coffees and said, thanks so much for your help and all that you do. Since I watched your tip video, I will add one idea. When you see the sale board as you walk in, take a picture of it and you can refer back to it. I don't know about everyone else, but I can't always remember it all. That is a really great tip to add to my thrift store trip video. Thank you so much for the coffees. That's that mama. 
All I see is Edwards. Thank you for not only your help, but your kind words and reassurance. I try not to get too stressed out when things happen, but it doesn't always work. It doesn't always work for me either. I get really stressed sometimes too. My shed is a hot mess right now. You see some reseller boxes back there going out. So I'm going to go live tonight. You will be watching this on Saturday. I went live last night, but that way I don't have to edit a video today and I am going to hopefully be able to get the shed cleaned up some. And then Sandra T bought me three coffees and said thanks for all your great advice. Sandra T, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you watching and I appreciate the coffees. Thanks. All right, that is going to be everything. What I added on today was supposed to be last Friday sales, but I didn't have time. So I appreciate you guys watching and let me see if Dalton would like to say bye. Do you want to say bye? He has been in here in the background watching. Tell them bye and give them a blow kiss. Bye. Wave bye.